Hey guys! So today I have the new uh, lip gelée, which I did Google the pronunciation, from Tom Ford. So these are limited edition and they are 770 Canadian dollars and 55 US dollars. And you get 0 0.07 ounces or 2.1 grams of product. So this is limited edition, they came out with four shades. Um, and when you're looking on the Sephora app, that's where I bought this from, the description of the shades are not very helpful at all. I will show you. Sunlit is described as orange. Lustrous, described as red. Maldives, which is the one that I got, is described as pink. And then you have scorching, which is again described as orange. You get two oranges, a red or a pink. Now when you buy things from like Tom Ford or Hourglass or any other brands that are just generally expensive, you're paying for the name and usually the packaging is like a little luxurious at least. Like it's not necessarily, the price is not all reflected in the actual product substance, but like you're paying for the name and the packaging and the idea of it all. This packaging is atrociously cheap for Tom Ford. Like it's all plasticky, it's just very lightweight and it just feels very cheap. When I got this in the mail and pulled it out of the box, I was upset. <laughs> I was like, this was $70, okay. So this is just supposed to be like a hydrating, lightweight lipstick uh, with a sheer tint and it's supposed to be hydrating. Did I say that already? Um, and it's supposed to have a glossy shine. I would say you should pick this up if you're looking to be disappointed. If you're like, my life's just going too well right now. I feel like spending $70 on nothing and definitely get this but if not i would just say don't and here's why i'm wearing it right now i'll show you the footage of me applying it first of all it's just awkward to apply because it's a good idea it's good in theory i guess so you have the stick of color in the very center and then it's surrounded by the jelly which is supposed to be like the hydrating whatever you apply it and the color only goes into the center of your mouth which is fine because you can rub your lips together and it kind of evenly disperses most of the time. If my lips are dry though, it doesn't really disperse that easily, which is kind of pointless if this is supposed to be like a hydrating product. I want to give moisture into my lips and not look patchy, so that's just a bit of a flaw right there. It can get bunched up in the center and then your instinct is to bring the lipstick higher, but then it's like, okay, well now I'm putting just jelly all over my Skin that I don't want. So that's awkward. It's not the end of the world. Like it is doable. You just rub your lips together and most of the time it actually works out not bad, but it can be patchy and you don't need patchiness in a hydrating lip tint. And then as I wear this and as I talk, it gets bunched up in the center of my mouth even more and it looks disgusting. It's supposed to be really glossy too. And I would say it looks a little bit glossy for maybe less than half an hour. It wears off so fast. The gloss, the color stays around a bit longer, but the gloss is like, mm, I'm not done and just leaves really quickly. Like 15 minutes, 20, gone. The color lasts an hour, maybe an hour and a half, but then it just looks bad. So it's kind of pointless anyways. Like the color will stay there, but it'll like slowly move towards the center of your mouth and bunch up and just become everything you didn't want. <laughs> it's like a little bit deceiving because when you put it on, it feels like smooth and kind of nice. And then you wear it for 10 minutes and you're like, oh, where did that hydration go? Also, this color is really not my favorite. Not really the point of why I don't like it, but I kind of wish I got either the red or one of the two oranges. So not only does the formula suck, but you can't even like hold it and feel luxurious because it's so cheap and crappy looking. If you're thinking about getting this for like sheer wash of color, just don't, there's plenty more out there. If you wanna get this for the glossy shine that they say there is, don't because it goes away in five seconds. If you're getting this for the conditioning hydration that it says it gives, don't because it doesn't give you that. Even if this was $10, I would not suggest you get it. It's just not worth it in any way. If this sounds great in theory to you, I would try the new Laneige Lip Glowy Balms. Not as much color as you would get here, but it makes your lips look really glossy and like full and it actually gives you hydration. So I would try this if you're looking for an alternative. 
not the same kind of idea, but the only thing is that this is gonna be way more sheer than the color that you get here. But the color that you get here doesn't even stay in place anyway, so what's the point of that? So I just applied this like 20 minutes ago to give it another try, and also just to demonstrate the true horror that is this product. All the color has migrated to the center of my mouth and it looks so bad. Sorry if this is gross, but you really have to see, okay? And it also looks like I applied it like six hours ago. Like, where's the glossy shine? I don't know. Where's the hydration? I don't know. Let's just move on and never talk about this ever again. $70. To summarize, don't buy this unless you really just want to throw your money in the dumpster. Actually, throwing your money in the dumpster will probably be better because you're not encouraging the production of such a dumb product. All right, I think I'm done trash talking for today. Um, let me know your thoughts if you've tried this, if you're still gonna try it out even though I told you not to. I would love to hear your thoughts. Maybe the other shades are a little more flattering, but probably not, they're probably not. Yeah, that's all I have for today's video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.